Hello, I'm Leslie Logan, and today we're doing push-ups on the window chair from the floor. So sometimes called push-ups one, um, there's three versions of the push-up series on the window chair. You have one where your hand is on the chair and one hand's on the pedal. You have the one we're going to do today. And you also have one with your feet on the pedal and your hands on the floor. And we'll do that in another video. So you want to line yourself up so that your feet are kind of lined up with the edge of your chair. Um, you can round forward and take one hand to the pedal, push it down. This is the easier setup one hand on the floor. The one that's on the floor is wide. And then your feet step back into a straight line, heels together. And then you bend the pedal arm three to five, maybe eight times. And you try not to let your hips tip is what they'll want to do. And your heels are like your rudder on your boat, right? So when you are in the plank, the heels kind of will let you know what's going on with your center. For me, they tend to lean, right? And then separate. So the more I can hug from my outer hips, the better. So different side, different strengths. What you want to do is as I round forward, I push this pedal down. The other hand comes down and I step out into a straight line. You can even use your floor to let you know you're straight, but you want to squeeze those heels together. So when you move this pedal arm, you don't tip your hips with this pedal arm, right? It's really awesome. If you were doing your single arm swan and you notice some asymmetries and you're doing uh, things like your push-ups on the mat or even your leg pulls, your control balance on the reformer, if you have one side that's stronger than another, it affects the whole body in a lot of exercises. So using these push-up exercises in the window chair will help teach your body what it needs to do when you've taken an arm or a leg away, right? So I would definitely do weak, strong, weak, um, play with this push-up and also the one on top and really challenge yourself. It's a lot of fun. Um, the window chair is one of those uh, pieces of apparatus that teach you a lot um, and challenge your Pilates practice in a really big way. So if you need a little spice in your practice, get on the window chair. I'm Leslie Logan. Thank you so much for watching these. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below and I will see you next time.